congratulations. It's been almost 15 years since the first movie came out. Was it what you have imagined since the first movie? Is this how you wanted it to end? Um, listen, I, I think if you went 15 years back yeah. in time and said to that filmmaker, would you mind ending the franchise after making six movies? Yeah. I mean, I would go, I'd be delighted, you know, because yeah. I think as a filmmaker, you know, only in your wildest dreams do you imagine that you've made, you would make a franchise with six films in it. Mm. So, you know, I'm very, very pleased with the franchise and, and with how it's developed. And I'm also pleased that we get to bring it to a close on a real high. Yeah. You know, the studio really got behind the movie. Um, they gave us the biggest budget yet. I think you can see from the footage. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Spectacular action set pieces, huge locations. I mean, great visual effects. It's, it's really ending on a high. Was it harder to to get started, to get it going from one film to another? Um, you know, this one this one was slightly difficult because somebody got the leading actress pregnant. So uh, we had a slight <laughs> delay. <laughs> we had a slight delay. Yeah. Um, but actually, I think that benefited the film because, you know, I, uh, for, I had another nine months to really kind of refine the screenplay, to refine the action sequences. And I think you see that in the finished film. I would say this is, this is by far the best movie in the franchise, and I think it's because of all of that time and effort that went into it. So what would fans expect to take home in this installment? This brings the franchise full circle. You know, this is a return to the beginning where everything began. So Mila's returning to Raccoon City. She's returning to the hive where the whole franchise began. So it's a voyage back to the beginning and kind of turning the franchise full circle. Mm -hmm. And also for her, it's a voyage of discovery. You know, the Alice character finally discovers who she is, what her relationship to the Umbrella Corporation is. Um, there's a lot of a lot of big secrets come out in this. Okay. So you've got a combination of like big action, big yeah. scares, but also big narrative reveals. Fans back home in Malaysia, they they really want to know like has Mila gone through more? Did she acquire more superhero powers? You know, we we've seen her frying up ravens in the sky. <laughs> Next mission, right? So she's she's badass. Grab some gear. <laughs> It's a more kind of grounded, realistic kind of action. So less superhero powers, but that doesn't stop her being in these insane action sequences. You know, we put her in the laser corridor. Um, yeah. There's an insane motorbike chase in the movie. She confronts the zombie dogs again. There's a wonderful sequence with this big wind turbine where mm -hmm. people are getting sucked in and chopped up. I mean, oh, we put her through a lot in this so film. So it's more gory... Um, in this. There's a lot of intensity to the film. Okay. I think, you know, for me, this movie returns to some of the strengths of the very first film because the first film f I felt, because it was very contained in mm -hmm. the hive, had a lot of very claustrophobic intensity and it was really scary. And, and while this movie keeps a lot of the big action that people associate with yeah. the franchise, we've also got a lot of very intense scares. And I, I would say this is the scariest movie I've ever made. Oh. So, by far, which installment is your favorite? I mean, this is, I gotta say this one. And I know filmmakers yeah, will always yeah. say, you know, this is, is the, the latest, best. Okay, this putting, is the best. Yeah. But honestly, yeah. I, I, you know, I have a great affection for the first movie, the first obviously, movie. because that's, that started the entire franchise. Um, but for me, this movie is, it's a, it's a fantastic way to go out because it really is the best of the franchise. Uh, if Mila were to be a superhero, yes. who would she be? Well, she's Ooh, Wonder yeah. Woman, obviously. Wonder Woman? <laughs> You're Wonder Woman. So we're looking forward to see the new Resident Evil. Yeah, see it's... See real soon. It's... I'm not kidding, it's the best one. It's, it's great. I've just seen the trailers, the creatures are amazing. Yeah, there's yeah. some good monsters in this one.